Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are diving into a bookmark manager, which is something I think a lot more people should use. This could even be used as a read later or watch later or just uh, in general a productivity app that has a lot of use cases, but this is probably best for bookmarking. Let's just quickly take a look at the pricing here. So we have a free price of unlimited bookmarks, unlimited collections, unlimited highlights, unlimited devices, 2600 uh, integrations that is with Zapier and tools like make.com. You have different apps, share and collaborate, upload, hu upload 100 megabytes of files per month and all essential future, uh, features, so search, edit titles, and so on. For uh, 25 uh, euros each year, including the VAT, you get everything in free plus, plus a full text search. That means uh, every page and every PDF you save, you have daily backups, and you have 10 gigabytes of files per month, which is a lot. That is actually a lot of files each month for a bookmark manager. Anyways, let's take a look at the integrations here as well, because there are a bunch of integrations. So we have Evernote, we have Google Sheets, we have Pocket, Readwise, Instapaper, which is apps I know a lot of people use, Dropbox, Google Drive, X, even Medium, which is something I use a lot and read a lot. And you can also, if you know what you're doing, you could build your own using the API. Now let's look at how this works. So this is quite a simple app, but it does quite well in organizing your different bookmarks, which is what I like about it. An app that is quite similar to this is probably my mind, but you do not get the collaboration there and sharing isn't so easy but we have uh, an article right here which i have saved let's say i wanted to read this later i can just drag it into read later i love inbox features why can't every productivity app have an inbox feature you have a bunch of things you can do when you actually save something so let's jump into medium and let's find an article that I might want to read and save it into Raindrop. So I could just go in and I could add a couple of notes, I could add some tags, I could choose where I wanted it to be saved. I will just place it into unsorted for now. Uh, and I could save this quite easily to my uh to my uh raindrop i won't do that right now because i will probably never read this article so let's just press remove uh but you could just save it like this as well and have it inside just to show you that it is possible and i can go in and i can delete this uh so it doesn't appear in my uh, in my bookmark manager. Uh, and let's say I had a YouTube video I wanted to uh, do research on, like for example this one right here. Uh, I just made this for the video. I was actually going to watch this video later. I am probably not making a video about Evernote's future. Uh, but let me know how you think Evernote will do the upcoming year. I would like to know your thoughts. Uh, I could add uh, a new collection, which is basically a folder, and have my folder uh, right here. Uh, so let me just create a new folder. Let's call this YouTube Video Test. So the way this works is that I could go in and I could find all of the things that is related to my YouTube video, all of the research I have done, and I could easily just add everything into my uh, collection and I could go in and I could go over it and actually do the research, read everything, watch everything once I felt ready for that. Another thing that is really cool is these filters, which 
uh, raindrop adds itself. So here we have notes, which is things I've taken notes on. We have articles, which is an article I just saved. We have the video and we have things without tags. So you can tag things here as well. Um, and you can also see the preview of the whole article right here if you wanted to read it like this in a more focused flow. But you could get the web or you could edit this as well. So multiple different things you can do. You can even highlight when you are saving something into your bookmark manager. So what is this good for? It is probably good for going through all of the articles that you said you were going to read and follow up on sometime or the YouTube video you would watch and take notes on. Just saving everything into one place in order to move them later. Some of the things might end up in your note taking app. Some of them might even be related to a task or a project you're doing right now, but having a place to batch everything together. So I'm a big fan of batching. That's how I do my videos. That's, that's basically how I live my life. I batch things together and uh, I process them uh, later. That's how I have done it as long as I've been into productivity. So that goes for research as well. I just want to gather all of the research I can. I don't want to take any notes. I don't want to think about the things I'm reading. I just want to save everything into one place. So that means making a Google search. For example, if I wanted to do a video on Evernote, I would just do Evernote uh, and I would go through all of these and uh, save them into my bookmark manager and uh, then be uh, able to process them later. I wouldn't read any of them. I wouldn't look too deeply into them. I would just put them into the bookmark manager. Uh, then when I am ready to take notes and I feel focused, I would probably then go through all of my notes. So this is quite similar to apps like Fabric and My Mind, but I probably think this is the best uh, bookmark manager out there, especially the free plan. If you don't want to spend any money on your bookmark manager, which I do not think you should, because if we end up spending money on every productivity app out there and every aspect of our productivity, we will run out of money quite quickly. But uh, as I said, one of the best ones out there, I recommend it to everyone that is looking for this sort of workflow and feel like they need a centralized space to uh, to access all of your different bookmarks because of the collections, because of the filters. This is just really beautiful to look out as uh, look out look at as well. And the free plan will get you so so far, and you have the integrations here as well. I mean, what more do you need from a bookmark manager? If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so so much for watching.